How to Delete a Blank Page in Microsoft Word. Hey guys, so if you've ever been working on a Word document and suddenly noticed an annoying blank page maybe at the end, or even somewhere in the middle, it happens all the time, and today I'll show you exactly how to get rid of it in just a few easy steps. Let's start with the simplest method, and honestly, this works in most cases. Just scroll through your document until you reach that blank page. Once you find it, click anywhere on it to make sure your cursor is active on that page. Then just start tapping the backspace key on your keyboard. If the blank page is at the end, this usually deletes any extra paragraph breaks or page breaks that might be hanging around. And in most cases, that's all it takes. The blank page just disappears. Super quick fix. But if that didn't work, don't worry. There's another method that gives you a bit more control and helps, especially when you're dealing with multiple blank pages or complex formatting. So for this next approach, we'll use the navigation pane, which is a built-in tool in Word that gives you an overview of all your pages. Go up to the top of your screen and click on the View tab. Once you're there, look for an option that says Navigation Pane and make sure it's checked. Now you'll see a new panel open up on the left side of your screen, showing thumbnail previews of every page in your document. This makes it really easy to spot where the blank pages are hiding. Go ahead and click on the blank page you want to delete. With it selected, now press Ctrl plus G on your keyboard. That's a handy shortcut that opens the Find and Replace dialog box specifically. It takes you to the Go To section. In the box that appears, you'll see a field labeled Enter Page Number. Just type in slash page. That's backslash then the word page. And press Enter or click Go To. This will automatically select the entire contents of that page, even if it looks empty. Word might have inserted some hidden formatting or extra paragraph markers. Once the content is selected, Click Close to exit the dialog box. Now, just press the Delete key. And just like that, the blank page should be gone. Sometimes the cause of the blank page is something subtle, like a leftover section break, or a table that pushed content to a new page. So if neither of these methods worked, try clicking the Reverse P symbol in the Home tab to show formatting marks. That'll reveal hidden paragraph markers, manual page breaks, and section breaks that might be causing the issue. From there, you can manually select and delete those elements. If you ran into any issues along the way or have a question, feel free to drop it in the comments. I'd be happy to help you out. And if this video saved you some time, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more easy tutorials like this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.